we have a new Lord of the Rings game coming out. And when you hear Lord of the Rings game, you're probably like, oh, Donnie, what's it going to be? Is it going to be another game based off the movies? Is it going to be a game like faithful to the books? Are we going to be, I don't know, Aragorn fighting with swords? Are we going to like go back in time from like hundreds of years before the books took place? Or are we going to go hundreds of years in the future? We're going to delve more deeper into the Tolkien lore. What kind of game is this going to be? And that's when your brain, when you think new Lord of the Rings game, that's what you're thinking. That's what your brain would automatically go to. But no, we are getting a Tales of the Shire game. So that's what the game is called. It is called Tales of the Shire. And it is a cozy simulation game based in the Shire where you play as hobbits. A new video came out about it today. It's basically just kind of briefly showing off the game. It's about 15 seconds long and it has a couple of the developers of this game talking through. And I'm going to show it right now. And after I show it, I mean, I, I feel like... The video will kind of speak for itself of why there is a lot of people who are kind of, you know, going against this game and talking bad and talking down on this game for pretty much, like, just view it and then you'll understand why. We love Hobbits and with Tales of the Shire, we want to immerse you in their world. We just really want Tales of the Shire to feel like a warm hug. <laughs> So like I said, that's just a quick little snippet of the new game, Tales of the Shire, that is coming out. And like I said, you can already guess why a lot of people would be mad about this game. Now, first of all, this has got about 2.2 million views um, throughout Twitter. I think it's been up for like 10 hours now on the website. And they have actually blocked the replies from the tweet itself that posted this original video. Um, the, the replies on Instagram and YouTube, they have not been turned off, but it has not gotten as much reception, like as many views as it has on Twitter and not as much backlash. Because if there's going to ever be backlash on anything, um, you know that when it comes to Twitter, that's where negative backlash, no matter which side of the political spectrum, no matter which side, what kind of backlash it's going to be, you know that there's going to be some negative output when it comes to it on Twitter. And people aren't happy about this. And I'm going to get into the reasons why people aren't happy about it, like the, the obvious reasons and, and reasons why I think that a lot of people are actually mad about this, but ones that aren't really like shown or people really aren't talking about. One of the main reasons why people aren't like happy about this is because of the color of the Hobbit in this game. Now, when it comes to Tolkien's views on the Hobbits and the way he describes them in the books, you know, when it comes to their appearances themselves, they are very short, very hairy. They don't wear any shoes. They've got, you know, these big ugly ass feet. I mean, I mean the perfect representation for the Hobbits is little legit. All you have to do is look at the Lord of the Rings trilogy in the movies. That's it. You have to look, just look at Peter Jackson's trilogy, Frodo, Samwise Ganji, just look at them two, and that's it. Even Bilbo Baggins, if you want to look at like some of the older people, those are perfect representations of what um, Tolkien describes the hobbits. When it comes to their skin color, they're known for being mostly white, and even then, they're a little bit tanned. More like because they've been out in the sun all day. They're known to be some of those, like, you know, English farmers. That's what they're known to be, like English farmers who are out in the sun all day, so they have a little bit of a tan, but not, not more or less being of, like, any different kind of race. They're all just pretty much white people with a little bit of tan. And, you know, when it comes to this game, they're obviously, you know, pushing heavy on DEI, and you can kind of feel it just with that initial trailer by what they're showing, but also by the people who are developing this game. Let's be honest. Like, if you see this person in a, in a game development team, you know for sure that DEI is going to be the first and forefront thing that is going to be on, on their mind when it comes to making this game. They don't care about staying faithful to the game. They don't really care saying like, oh, we want to make it like faithful to the hobbit series and to like tolkien's view and all that kind of no what they care about is some kind of representation that's to them that is really when you see these type of people develop in the game that is what it is and it makes you question like what how did these people get this job how, like 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 how come i haven't got i i i reckon i could get i studied animation and game design and like i didn't go anywhere with it because animation game design in australia is trash like, it really isn't all that good. And if you want to get somewhere, you have to go to America. And, like, you guys union over there. You guys have no union when it comes to gaming. So I just, like, didn't continue with it. But even then, I reckon I could get a job. I, I re like, like, 
I, like, if they're hiring these people, I should get a job. I should be able to get a job in one of these games. Like, what the hell, man? What did these people study? Did they even study any, any type of game design at all? Like, what did they do? And a lot of people who have been replying and retweet, well, retweeting um, a lot of things and saying negative things um, about this game have actually been blocked by the page for Tales of the Shire. Which, I mean, rightfully so. I mean, it, it, even if you agree with it or not what these people are saying, um, I, I, it definitely does not surprise me whatsoever that you're going to be blocked. I mean, if I was managing the page and even if I was like just their social media team and I was like, this game sucks. But I saw backlash, you know, you kind of have to. Of course, you're going to get blocked. It's just it's just how it is. But obviously, these are like the, the just just the base level of, of why people are mad. But like, and I can I, I can understand it. Like, like me, at, at, like, if you really want my like actual opinions to a certain extent, I don't care too much because like I do kind of like simulation games. I will say I am actually big on simulation games. Well, not massive. Like, I do like them here and there, but even at the same time, I, I, I play, like, most of my hours are in other games. Most of my hours are in games like Apex, Path of Exile, and then I have over, a, I, I clocked over 100 hours this year on Elden Ring. And then recently, I've been playing Space Marine 2. So those are the games that I really play. But every once in a while, I play some simulation games. I like to just chill out and vibe to them. But those aren't the ones that I'm going to be buying every single second, putting a whole load of hours into. No. And that, to me, is the reason why people are really mad, is the type of Lord of the Rings games that they have gotten recently. And if we look back at the games that we have gotten in recent time when it's come to Lord of the Rings, we have gotten Gollum, which we all already know just how bad Gollum is. I mean, I don't even need... I could get into a whole... This could be a whole nother video about why Gollum was such a bad game. And besides Gollum, we have also gotten this other game, which I didn't even know about. I was searching up recent, like, Lord of the Rings games, and it's called Lord of the Rings Return to Moria, and it's only ever gotten 8,811 players peaked on Steam, and it got released, like, last year, and I never even heard about this game. It's like some open-world survival crafting game that I never even heard about. I never even heard, I didn't even know this game existed up until I was making this video. And that to me is the reasons why people are really mad. Because the last good Lord of the Rings games that we got was the Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor and Shadow of War games. And if you have not played either of those games, I 100% recommend you do. I haven't played Shadow of War. I didn't get the game at the time because it was like a whole load of monetization problems, uh, like controversy around that. I didn't get it for like that reason. And But I played Shadow of Mordor and oh my God, it is an amazing game. And that came out all the way back in like, I think it was 2014. That was like 10 years ago. The last time we got a good, faithful, amazing, like action combat style Lord of the Rings game. And that is why I say people are actually really mad about this. That to me is the reasons why. Because if we had gotten like really good, proper Lord of the Rings games in recent times, and they were like stuck faithful to the games, um, to the book, sorry, to Tolkien's laws, th they really were like action combat style, or they were just amazing, like game of the year type games, like the Middle Earth, Shadow of War, Shadow of Mordor were. Like, if they were like that, and then this game just kind of got released on the side, like, it's like, a, hey, we're just, like, releasing another little small game for you guys if you if you want to enjoy it. Then I feel like people wouldn't be that mad. But to, that, to me, that's the main reasons why, is that, like, you have this amazing IP. Amazon owns Lord of the Rings. They have this amazing, like, the, the, the Lord of the Rings lore. Like, I am not... A big of a fan of Lord of the Rings as some other people are. Like, I do like Lord of the Rings. I'm not saying I don't. I think that the Lord of the Rings trilogy by Peter Jackson is one of the greatest film, like, a trilogies ever to exist, if not the greatest. From the first movie to the third movie, like, every single one is good. Like, whenever you get a trilogy, it's always like, oh, this one's better than this one, this one's better than this one. But you could arguably say that each film is just as good as the next one. Like, it, it, they're just as good as each other. And, like, every single person, whenever you ask someone, what's your favorite Lord of the Rings movie? A lot of the times, people have a different answer for it because that's how good it is. Where it's like, if you go to, like, the original Star Wars, which you can tell I love Star Wars, like, majority of people will say, like, oh, what's your favorite, um, like, movie from the original trilogy? Everyone will say, like, oh, Empire Strikes Back. Because it's just arguably better. And then, like, Return of the Jedi just kind of, like, it drops off a little bit compared to that. Where it's like, Lord of the Rings trilogy, amazing. 
And that law, the Tolkien law, is so extensive, so vast, and you could do so many badass things with it. Like you could, you could make the game, you could make such amazing games, but you make Tales of the Shire. That's, that's the game you decide to greenlight to a studio who's never made a game. That's right. This is their first game ever. This is, this studio has never made a game before and never been given Lord of the Rings. They've never made a game ever, ever. This is the studio's first game, first official game, and they're given Lord of the Rings. Really? That is the main reason why I think people are mad. That is why. On face value, it looks like because of the race of the golems, uh, the hobbits, it, the race of the hobbits, and the people that are making this game. But to me, it's really because we have not gotten a real good Lord of the Rings game in such a long time, and then this is what Amazon decides to be putting out. Really? Like, I know that they've, like, gotten rid of Lord of the Rings online, and they're making a new MMORPG, but, like, really? Re really? Like, instead of, like, a mad game similar to Shadow of Mordor or something like that, you decide to give us Towers of the Shire. Okay. Yeah. That, to me, is the reason why people are mad, but I would definitely like to hear what you guys have to think about all of this down below. Like, what, like, have you seen this game? What's your opinions on this game? Do you care too much? Do you not care too much? Uh, just let me know what you guys think about all that down below. That's going to be from me. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, all that kind of stuff. Peace out.